Hey guys, it's good to see you. Uh, it's Ryan here with DP Marketing Services and author on the book on digital marketing for plumbing and HVAC contractors. Hope you're doing good, uh, staying busy, all those fun things. Coming at your videos, so typically, look, if you've watched our videos for long, you know we try to give uh, helpful information to help you grow your business. Typically, it's marketing because that's kind of our thing, uh, and we, you know, work with plumbing, HVAC, home service companies around the U.S. and Canada. Um, but every now and then we kind of tried to do some video that's not directly related to marketing, but things that just help you run a business better. Recently, I was having a conversation with two friends of mine. They, they run a, pl a plumbing company <coughs> and, uh, they had mentioned that, uh, basically small decisions, like just this constant barrage of small decisions they were having to make was creating decision fatigue. And look, if you've, if you've run a business for long, you know how many decisions come at you on a daily basis. Do you do this or do that? Do you resolve it this way or that way? Do you handle it this complaint or that complaint? Like you're just always going through hundreds and hundreds of tiny decisions every day. Some of the decisions are really big and they'll have a massive impact. Some of them are just really small um, that are just kind of really frequent. But uh, when when you as a leader, as a manager of your business becomes overwhelmed, it can make sometimes the quality of the decisions that you make poor, or you sometimes can make the right decision too slow to be helpful. So, uh, so learning how to manage the stress of like decision fatigue, it's a real thing. So kind of what I thought was I would, I would just simply share share the the thoughts that I had for for my friends who own the plumbing business and hopefully they'd be helpful for you so in, in their specific case their thing was it wasn't the big massive decisions it was rather hundreds and hundreds of small tiny baby decisions that happened every day that kept their brain from thinking well about the big decisions right so it wasn't like oh they don't know how to make big decisions it was just all these little baby things just kind of like nipping away nipping away at their ability to think clearly make things. So I kind of, for them in their conversation, I kind of lumped it into three categories. And so <clears throat> category one was, can you delegate small decisions? So, uh, here's, here's an example. Let's say you need to go get somebody a birthday cake because somebody on your team's birthday is coming up and you go, well, I've got to go to the store and I got to decide which cake, whatever. Is that something you can delegate? If the answer is yes, delegate it, right? If it's not done perfectly, if it's not done the way you want, no big deal, it's a small decision, uh, but it's something where you can let somebody else make the decision and you don't worry about it. So now it's off your mind, it's off your plate, it's not on your radar, you don't really worry about it. You just delegate it to someone else and they get it done for you. So option one, if you're struggling with decision fatigue from a barrage of small decisions, delegate what you can, okay? Number two, can you automate small decisions? So. Here's an example for this particular couple. One of the things was like uh, husband and wife team, right? So part of that was weekly planning of the menu of saying, hey, what's the family gonna eat for breakfast? What's the family gonna eat for lunch? What's the, fa what's the family gonna eat for dinner? Uh, they had kids that are in school. So it's like even these like baby decisions of what are you gonna eat? Sounds like a not big deal. But when you do that day after day after day after day after day after day after day, <clears throat> when you're trying to run a business, it's really difficult to uh, to look past it. It becomes a gigantic deal. So, if you automate a small decision, this can look like a couple of things. One, can you can you purchase a tool or leverage a tool where it automatically happens for you? So, if, in the case of the food, <clears throat> you could pre plan like this is personal what I do. <clears throat> I plan my my meals out a month in advance, right? So I've got this four week rotating calendar. And every month it recycles. So there's no decisions. The decisions on the food have already been made. The shopping list has already been made. There's no thinking about what are you eating. It's just kind of repeats. It's automatic, right? Or you can use tools. If it's a digital thing, you can use tools like Zapier. Like, can you do something with Zaps where you automate a task? Because it's just making sure you're executing it is the important part. Uh, if it's sending your team a text every morning, can you set up an app on your phone to automatically text everyone every morning? Uh, it's totally automatable. Is that something you can do? So the, the first thing is delegate small decisions. The second thing is automate small decisions. And the third thing is probably gonna be surprising for you. And this is, can you eliminate small decisions? 
So the best example of eliminating a small decision for this conversation, it's Mark Zuckerberg, uh, the CEO of Facebook. If you're not familiar, uh, Mark has for years worn the exact same outfit, same jeans, same pair of shoes, same hoodie. Uh, any photo you see him in uh, for the past decade is likely in that same combination of clothes. The reason being, it's so he doesn't have to worry about making one extra decision. He's bombarded with making hundreds of decisions all day long, and these are really big, really important decisions. So if he can just say, you know what, he likes that one outfit, he's just going to fill his clothes, his uh, closet with that outfit, and he's just going to wear the same thing every day. It's eliminating having to make one decision that you might go, well, that's silly. It's not a big deal, but it's one extra decision that you have to make. And if you can just eliminate it so you don't even have to worry about it at all, you win. So those are the three things. Uh, can you delegate it? Can you automate it? Can you eliminate it? And regardless on how or what or what combination of those, my gut is you can probably remove 80%. I just made that number up. You can probably remove 80% of the mental stress that you're going through every day of just making these small decisions just by knowing you can delegate, you can automate, and you can eliminate. And that will clear your brain then to think better about the bigger decisions that you really have to make. So I would love to hear from you because this is an unusual topic, but I'd like to hear your comments. So uh, as always, leave us a comment below uh, as, and follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. Guys, hope you're doing good and uh, we'll see you next time.